Hi, this macro lecture is on conservation of momentum. Uh, we're going to sum up kind of what we learned in this unit, or in this uh, collection. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so the big idea we were working on is describing motion and the effect of forces in more complex scenarios, like billiards, uh, or car collisions, or things along those lines. Now, we looked at how to use momentum to analyze these more complex scenarios, especially, um, in particular, collisions, which leads us into the unit focus, which was specifically looking at collisions and analyzing um, uh, these things from a momentum perspective. This collection focused on the applications of momentum, specifically in predicting the outcomes of collisions, uh, like I've said over and over and over again, um, both sticking and bouncing collisions. But next we can begin to look at other ways to understand scenarios where forces may not be constant. So momentum is one lens or one way we can look at those, but sometimes momentum isn't the best one, especially if things aren't really colliding, but maybe just it's a non-constant force, but we want an easier way to describe um, or predict how fast something's going to be moving or things along those lines. So that's what we're going to move into next, and I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's going to be dealing with energy. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.